All right, friends, let's go over what we're gonna be using for science. So as you can see here, I am very happy. <laughs> I am very excited. We have brought back the good and the beautiful, okay? The good and the beautiful has come out with this new science since I've used it called um, Little Hearts and Hands and I love it. And she loves it, okay? I love it so much. Um, if you've been following me for years now, you know that I have always loved the good and the beautiful. Um, I took a break from it for about, I would say about two years. I would say about a good two years and I've missed it tremendously i have struggled trying to replace it i have struggled trying to find another curriculum to fill its shoes and to be honest with you i have not been able to do that and if you have been here you know you've seen the struggle okay you've seen it <laughs> you have seen it i have been missing something and this has been it and this has been it so this past year i have struggled with bell's palsy and it took me down i mean down to my knees praying to god it just really took me down it, it took me it took me down to a whole nother place okay and so i prayed to god that he would help me guide me direct me show me where to go and how to continue to homeschool my babies and he answered my prayer and i reached out to the good and the beautiful to see if they were still interested in us working together i wanted to get more information so i reached out i asked questions i had tons of questions all of my questions were answered and so i then purchased my own curriculum to flip through and look through um, before i wanted to commit to working with them moving forward and so i am very very happy that they welcomed me and my family with open arms and so we are moving forward we are moving forward because this worked for us and I feel like not using this curriculum and I'm speaking completely from my heart I feel like not using this curriculum when it was working so well has made us take steps backward this curriculum is at more of an accelerated rate and so my kids have been advanced and I feel like we took a step back and so I'm very happy to see that they have this science curriculum and uh, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. They've always been beautiful. And Jace loves that the young man on the page looks like him. So I love that. I love the representation that they have and I just love it. I love it. So this is the big book of stories, of science stories. Fields and Flowers, they did have something Fields and Flowers before, but it was more like third grade and through eighth grade before. Um, quick disclaimer, I am using my homeschool table. It has homeschool proof evidence on it, so you guys will see that. It's not jelly or anything like that, it's paint. And if I scrub it, it'll come off. But we're, we're just gonna move forward, right? Because life is not perfect, and so why should I try to be perfect? So what this curriculum comes with is this parent guide so this is the parent guide it is beautiful too what i was looking for i'll tell you what i was looking for before going into it i was looking for something that was going to give me more structure where i could stay on track and i knew exactly what was going to be next i missed that in a curriculum and you don't get that when you're making up your own things and so for science specifically jace wanted experiments he wanted to do experiments he wanted to have fun and i feel like i tried to incorporate that but it didn't work completely and so this gives me that so let's go ahead and open this up this one it looks like they had this last year it was a little bit different i think it was spiraled instead of like being able to open and lay flat like this but when you open the first page look at the representation look at that I say they got it right. Different kids from different backgrounds, even the, look at the hair color, all different hair color, right? Like everything about this is, is beautiful. Like the diversity here, they, they got it right. So very good job, Jenny, you, you, you did amazing here. All right, so here is the table of contents. It's telling us what we're gonna learn about in this course. And flipping through here, I noticed that you don't have to go in any particular order. Like you can, you can kind of jump around if you want to, to make it work for you and your family. Here's and the overview. It tells you the activity or the activity supplies you're going to need, the books, 
frequently asked questions, lesson overview, talks about trees, the tallest tree, um, tree sap and syrup, mushrooms and moss, wildflowers, seeds, garden, flowers, like all of this edible plants, butterflies. We actually raised our own butterflies this past year. This would have been great with that. Um, ants, beetles, you know, dragonflies, ladybugs. We actually just added 1,500 ladybugs to our garden this year. So they're not all still there. They flew away. Some of them did, but they helped us a lot with, um, you know, getting the pests that eat uh, things in our garden. So that was that was wonderful so there is that and then it gives you a little bit of information about the course here um i love that the parent guide is in color because it's not boring i've had some boring curriculum and i tried i tried my hardest and it just did not work for me it didn't work so i'm happy that this is in color it gives you le video lessons so what I have learned from having a high schooler going through and doing using curriculum, you get them to do the video lessons while they're small. That way it's just another thing. Like it's just something that they are used to doing and it's not a big deal to them later on. Because for him, um, we didn't do we didn't use the good and the beautiful for videos, but other curriculum that we use had videos and he was not. He was like, no. Mm -mm. But if you start them off young, getting used to watching videos or even listening to other people read books outside of yourself, then it makes life a lot easier as you transition into the older grades. It gives you a lesson overview. It talks about the big book of science stories. Here's where you can find the videos, activities, important safety notice. And then the next page goes over like books that you would need with this curriculum. And I'm trying to think, I actually need to order these books here because I think I have, I think I have these two. I think I have these two, but I think I need to order those. So I need to get on that ASAP. Um, and then let's see here, how beautiful is this? that it talks about how long each lesson will take with your kids this is a, a family uh subject so this is something that jason savannah will be doing together i have a six-year-old and a seven-year-old first grade and second grade how long will a lesson take the lesson length will vary greatly between children have the child do as much work each day as the child's attention span will allow you do not need to complete one lesson a day you might do more or less. Look for cues, frustration or fatigue to help you know when to finish. I love that. That's with any curriculum. Take that with any any curriculum. Is there anything I need to do to prepare? The curriculum or the course is written as an open and go course. Activity supplies are listed on page eight and nine. And then it also gives you the links that you will need. Love, 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 love. Uh, I'm... I'm really happy. I'm really happy. I'm feeling like this is going to be a really good year. Here is how the supplies are broken up here. So lesson one, this is what you would need. Lesson two, and this will get you to going outside. I love it. I love it a lot. Magnifying glass, tweezers, pine cones, or evergreen branches. If you have them in your backyard, if not, go on a nature walk and pick some up. It'll give you something to do. So I love this a lot, a lot, friends. I love it a lot. And I'm happy to be here. I really am I'm so happy to get, be here. This just is giving me all the fall vibes, all of them. <laughs> Movie time. Talks about the tallest tree, where the tallest tree is located. So that's it, like two pages per lesson. Look at that. So this side and this side, and it is so the opening is usually your activity, which I love because it really draws or brings the kid in or brings your babies in. So I love that. So this is the activity that you do. And then you go to reading to your child. And then you have story time. Or this is asking questions, you know, to get them engaged in the information. Have you ever climbed a tree or leaned up against one? You may have noticed, you may have noticed that some tree some tree bark feels rough and some feels smooth. Some bark is dark colored and some is light colored. Bark has many benefits 
for trees and humans. Let's learn more about tree bark. And then you go into reading a book and there's different views of tree bark. Love it, love it. I love that it's all together. And then this is the discussion that you would have. Tree bark protects the inside of the tree. This is the question. What do you think will happen if a tree didn't have bark? And then possible answers. It would not be protected from insects, diseases, and wildlife. So they'll give you something in that, um, you know, something around that. So a few questions there and nothing that they need to write down unless you want them to and then here's an additional activity if you head to the vlog or their blog that's a lesson and so then you would just move on to the next page which would give you the next lesson love it okay and so it refers to a book for you to go back to this is the book big book of science and so this is also very beautiful the different stories that they have so the brothers bark the story of the two spores, seeds, desert plants, masters of survival, parts of a plant, butterflies, Adam's ants. So you can see that there's so many. Look at how pretty that little that little girl is with her drawing. Love it. I like this one so much that I wanted to have the collection <laughs> so they have these two right now this one is new this one just came out the the science for little hearts and hands wind and wave my thought is if the kids get tired of going over the nature of fields and flowers then we can switch over to wind and waves and then we can kind of go back and forth since you don't have to do any of this in a particular order and so um, this is the parents book here. Of course, adding in Noah's Ark. Little projects that you're gonna do. Look at that, you could put your hand together to, to make a bird. So love this one as well. This one as the big book of stories. For science and so um, similar setup you know just different stories in here again I love the diversity I love it I'll flip all the way from the back beautiful pictures they're so colorful and rich I know that my kids will absolutely love this I love it. I absolutely love it. So there is that. What I love about the diversity in these books is it's not just like one character that looks like my kids. Like it is all different types of um, 
cultures and representation in this book of different people from different walks of life, different areas. I love that. It just feels right. Like I said, it just feels right. So we have this one, Wind and Waves. And then we also picked up, of course, I had to, once I started looking, I feel like I had to have the Africa Reader, okay? Had to have it. So my first Africa Reader, I picked up this one. This is their um, one of their science books. Like you can do a signed reading with this one. It is gorgeous as well. Just as beautiful as I anticipated it would be. Had to have this on my bookshelf. Could not let a day go by without not having this on my bookshelf, okay? So I love it. I think it's beautiful. And so yeah, so there's that my Africa reader and then I wanted to pick up all of their nature books and so I grabbed their nature books so I started off with this one this is my first nature reader again a sign reading very simple the crab is on the sand so it tells you the letters that you're going to go over the the wind is so soft she is beautiful picked up a few more that I feel like can be added to like a science area so I picked up these books the lost key at Pex Cove beautiful and I also picked up this one I also picked up this one William and the wind and so I thought it would go well with um, the wind the science one the wind and waves I'm sorry and so yeah i grabbed that one as well this one is a 2b so a bit more difficult than the last one that you saw these are things that jace could breeze through but it's nice to just have it and so i'm really happy i'm really happy with this i did have another science that i purchased it was something i had to print out and i just was not satisfied i just could not i, I I just wasn't happy. I just was not happy. So I kept looking and I kept looking and finally I found this. And after I found this, I ordered it, received it, flipped through it. I stopped looking. So I have not looked at any more science, anything. This is it. This is what we're going to be using. Um, again, I'm very happy that they were willing to work back with us again with no hesitation. And they were happy to answer any questions that I had. So um, I'm excited to share with you guys how this goes for us for the rest of the year. But if you are wondering what my kids and I are using this year for science, we will be using the, the Good and the Beautiful Little Hearts and Hands for Science. So here are again the two that we have here, the fields and flowers and the wind and the waves. All right, thank you guys for being here and I will see you guys again in tomorrow's video with more curriculum that my family will be using for the 2023-2024 school year. Bye.